Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Smith, and I am Head of Development at Cryomotion. Uh, most presenters would hate this graveyard slot, but for me, it's actually perfect. In fact, if you've been here all day and are losing the will to live, I've got just the thing for you. <laughs> So what is cryomation? Cryomation is the zero emission alternative to cremation. There's no burning of fossil fuels and its carbon footprint is 70% lower than that of cremation. In the cryomation process, we supercool a body in liquid nitrogen. We then fragment that frozen body and remove any medical implants for recycling. We then remove the water by freeze drying, sterilize the remains and put them into a biodegradable container ready for burial in a much smaller footprint than a normal traditional burial. Those remains break down to nothing within 12 months, freeing up that space for further burials. That all sounds very simple, but actually it has represented some quite serious technical challenges. Uh, the images uh, on the screen there show some of the research that we've done, largely with little piggy wigs that didn't make it to market. The list shows we've spent quite a bit of money um, achieving those, um, uh, resolving those technical challenges, assisted by various grant funding and low carbon uh, competition wins. We're currently finishing a £200,000 project which uh, addressed the remaining technical challenges, uh, designed and costed the prototype build project. We're three months away from an infant scale cryometer and we are 10 months away from a full scale, fully automated prototype cryometer. The delivery team is an internal team of non-engineers supported by a large external team of leading engineers and technical specialists. Our chairman, Duncan Foster, is an entrepreneurial businessman. His role is corporate management, finances, and that involves putting his hands in his pockets on a regular basis. My background is military officer, financial services, and business development. My role is commercial development, grant applications, and project management. That's largely herding cats, or as they like to call themselves, engineers. Our Chief Science Officer, Dr. Arjman Garangani, is the brains of the operation. He has degrees in chemistry, biology, biochemistry, and a PhD in microbiology. Our industry consultant is Alan Sheldon. Uh, he started working as a grave digger and now manages the crematoria and cemetery services for one of the UK's major cities. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Externally, we work with um, some leading technical experts. Uh, Air Products are one of the largest gas companies in the world. Hasekawa Micron are one of the leading uh, the Rolls-Royce manufacturers of food and pharmaceutical machinery. Uh, in addition to our cryomation project, Northwest Projects, our design engineers manage the British nuclear industry's 10 most challenging design projects. There are other specialist companies involved, and I'll be happy to disclose those under NDA. Our potential market is quite large. There are 7.5 billion people on the planet today, and that's due to rise to 9.5 billion uh, by 2050. There are 60 million deaths forecast for 2018. Our international market research suggests that 12% of people would choose cryomation today, and 66% of those surveyed consider the process acceptable. We get commercial and personal inquiries every single day, and we don't even advertise. Inquiries from exotic places like Hong Kong and Malta that have run out of cemetery space, Wokingham. Uh, I get a call. Of, I must get a call a week from a little old lady who's not feeling terribly well. Uh, we've even had the Hong Kong Jockey Club contact us to see if we could scale this up for dead racehorses. In terms of competition, cremation represents our biggest uh, competition, but pollution is their death knell. Uh, the mayor of Shanghai province, where they burn 2,000 bodies a day, said he would legislate against cremation in favour of cremation. If more authorities did that, then cremation as competition would probably go up in smoke. In terms of cryogenic funeral processes, we've yet to see any other credible developers. Oops, sorry. Our business model is based on leasing cryomators with remote unit monitoring and 24-7 engineering support. We get income from the lease, we charge a royalty for each body that we process, and there is some income from special consumables. 
In the event that there is a problem with one of our cryomators, the engineering team will get there before the operator probably knows there's an issue, and we can um, make sure that the income stream is back on track long before Granny starts to defrost in the system. Financial forecasts show profits of 6.9, 10.3, and 18.6 million in years three, four, and five. Really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And we require 0.75 million to finish the prototype and build the management team. Thank you. Thank you very much.